G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, one of the hardest working and most frequently used machines in the workshop is my little Linisher. And uh, these are invaluable, you know, they great for cleaning up stuff, breaking edges particularly, and uh, yeah, really, really good. Now, the thing with them though is that the belts on them get a bit of a, a, bit of a beating and I go through belts fairly frequently and what happens is they normally uh, come apart at the join when they sort of overlap. So you can see the speed that goes at. Where's the join? It's here somewhere. There it is. There's the join. And you can see they overlap them and uh, the glue seems to deteriorate uh, with age. And I bought a whole swag of them oh, a couple of years ago and been in storage and they've been coming apart very frequently. You only get about, oh gee, you know, 10 hours use out of them if you're lucky and then they'll fly apart, less even. So I finished up with all these sanding belts which had come apart. And of course what I do with these two, this is a obsolete size belt and you can't buy, the, well if you do buy these belts they're hellishly expensive, very hard to get. But what you can do, and I showed it in one of my earlier videos, is you can get belts which are twice as wide and then you just simply tear them down, just stab them with a knife and then tear them down and get two belts out of one. And not only is it easy to do, it also saves a lot of money because if you ever notice when you buy sanding belts, it doesn't really matter on the size within a certain limit limitation, but the sizes generally, whether they're this big or this big, they all seem to cost about the same amount of money. So I can buy a wide, a wide belt in this loop diameter for well, the circumference for uh, to say uh, well they work out at four bucks a belt and then I can tear them down and get two out of them so it brings it back to two dollars a belt so that's a cheap way of doing it anyway I'm diverging so I had all these um, broken belts and what I nor normally do is I just as they're no good then I just tear them down and use them as emery tape you know once again you can save money you know you can make great emery tape out of them just tear them down easy and I was looking at them and I thought gee you know, I've got a few this time and I thought I wonder if I can join these together you know is it possible to join these together so I've had a I've had a crack at it and I'll show you what I used how I did it I haven't tried them yet this may not work, they might fly to pieces. This will be the first time I've given them a go. This is a brand new belt I put on the other day, a proper belt, bought belt, but um, yeah, I'll show you what I've got. <laughs> and then we'll try one to see if it works. All right, moving on. All right, here are the belts I've repaired. They've all been used, as you can see. And they've all been glued up and uh, there's where I've done it. They go back fairly cleanly, pretty neat, not too bad. And there's another one. So they've all been done on you can see inside. They've all been done on the on the seam. That's they're all broken that join. That one's a little bit lumpy, we'll see how that goes anyway. But so the name of the game is try and get them as smooth as you can. Most of them turned out pretty good. You know, really not much different to when you buy them so uh, yeah I'll show what I what I did there there all right here's one I have not fixed up it uh, didn't have a very good finish on the when it came apart I could have a go at it I'd have to just trim that bit off there and so that's doable but what I did was I just got a uh, a cotton bud to smear the glue on with so you know they go together like that they just overlap so I just smeared some glue on there and 
on the inside as well, same distance. Uh, it's contact cement, fast grip stuff. Let it uh, cure for 15 minutes, then just put them together and they bond pretty well straight away. Once I did that, you know, once it had been um, adhered, I then got a hammer like this and I put it on here and I beat it on the back side with the hammer to get good compression. And they say on the um, on the tin you can actually use a hammer to build stuff together. When you use this for say putting laminate laminex on uh, you know laminate on a wooden desk top or something like this. This is just Parfix fast grip contact adhesive. Um, it's a bit like Sally's quick grip but it's runnier and I was using you know, Sally's quick grip for a lot of jobs but the last lot I bought and the brother-in-law also bought some the damn stuff only goes off uh, in six months I mean like you can't keep it very long at all and it will just go like a lump of jelly so I'm trying this stuff Parfix I haven't had it six months so I don't know how good it will be but it's it's got a different consistency it looks like honey inside it's a lot more runny than the old Sally's quick grip but yeah so I also put this stuff on tire plugs when I'm repairing punctures you know when you put those plugs in just dip it in the quick in the fast grip before you shove it in the hole and it will stick a lot better because it's heat uh, resistant and uh, some of those plugs you know they dry out a bit over time so yeah put a bit of that on and she'll be right so Okay, that's what we start with, and you've seen what we finish with. Let's put one on the linisher and see if it actually does work. This might be a total waste of time, but anyway, got to try these things. All right, so here's the new one I had on. We'll take that off. Here's one of my repaired jobs. Now you've got to get the thing to go away from the, from the trailing edge, so it has to go that way. And the arrow's on here. Yep, that's right, there's the arrow. So it's got to go on this way. So I'll fit it on, I'll see how it goes on. And once I've got it fitted, I'll, uh, I'll come back. Okay, so the belt's on. Got some tension on it. Let's see what happens. Well, it didn't fly apart. The join, there's the join, holding all right. We'll get a bit of steel and we'll we'll try sanding with it. okay but there's a bit of a where that lip goes over you can feel it hitting that will probably wear off a bit you could even sand that back a bit smooth you know hmm that's a thought isn't it I don't want to play around too much with it otherwise it might uh, come apart yeah. Oh well. It's all right, you get that vibration, you know, but uh, it'll get you out of, a, out of a fix if you say run out of belts and you we well, just a screws like me and you want to use them up. Yeah, that did a good job, perfect. So, there you go, it does work. The glue holds together, no problem. That's obviously strong enough, and 
yeah, if you don't mind a bit of a bumpity bump as it goes over the join, it, uh, it'll do the job. Okay, so there you go, mission complete. I've got six belts so I can get some more life out of. They're not perfect, but they're quite usable. And what took was a bit of this glue, contact adhesive, 48 hours, I let them harden. But I mean, if you did them and squashed them up in the jaws of the vice, like with some padded jaws, that would get a much flatter join, I think. And uh, yeah, it just limits you to one belt every 24 hours, which is slow, but it would do, probably do a better job. So if these break again, which they probably will eventually, I'll, uh, I'll try that method. But um, yeah, cheap and cheerful, plenty of work okay. Could get you out of a hole one day. All right, that's it from me. See you next time. Cheers.